So what's going on in the Middle East? What has been going on in the Middle East? Why is there so much terrorism and war and battle? Fight. Plain and simple. It comes back to the Bible. It comes back to one man and two sons. It's that simple. And we're going to look at two sons. Isaac, which means laughter. Ishmael, which means God hears. Now Genesis 17:19 is the first place Isaac's name shows up. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son. Indeed. And thou shalt call his name Isaac, which means laughter. I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. As for Ishmael, I've heard thee. Ishmael means a herd. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply exceedingly twelve princes, not tribes, shall he beget. I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac. So right off the bat, when we see Isaac's name the first time, we also see Ishmael. God says, I am going to establish, Jehovah says, the Lord, the Lord God, the creator, the gods of all God, says, Isaac is the promise." See, Isaac is the one by a man named Abraham and the wife named Sarah. Now, Genesis 16, right? Ironic that 1611, the first 1611, and you see verse 10, the angel of the Lord, and the angel of the Lord shows up in. Verse 7, that's the first time the angel of the Lord shows up, and it shows up to Hagar. The first 1611, you see Ishmael. The angel of the Lord, that's Jesus Christ, said unto her, Hagar, Ishmael's mother, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord has heard. Now remember we told Abraham before. I've heard. Now he said. Hey this is the first time. Here he says I've heard thee. About Ishmael. Abraham I've heard thee about Ishmael. Ishmael means to hear. Thy affliction. So both boys. Are. The Lord visits. The Lord visits Hagar and pre names the boy Ishmael by the meaning I've heard thee. God shows up to Abraham, which is named Abraham, Abraham and says, you're going to have a boy. And you're going to pre-name him Isaac. So both boys are told to be boys. Hagar, while well, she's got the baby in her womb. Sarah has not conceived yet. And they're pre-named. Before they're born. Now we have two mothers. Galatians. 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 Chapter 4. Galatians chapter 4 verse 22. For it's written that Abraham had two sons. 
Ishmael, Isaac. The one a bondmaid, Hagar, the other by a free woman, Sarah. All right, so Ishmael is born of bondage, of slavery, of servitude. That's important. Ishmael is a child of the flesh, a child of bondage. Not free. Isaac is born of the free woman, of the wife. Spoken by God is that's the one with the covenant. But he, Ishmael, who was born of the bondwoman, was born after the flesh. Ishmael represents the flesh. But he is of the free woman, Isaac, was by promise. God promised Abraham that child, Isaac. He did not promise Abraham, Ishmael. Ishmael was a pro Well, you know, God hasn't given us a baby yet. Here, Abraham, Abra honey, take my handmaid. And he did. So we have a bond, slave, bondage, and we have freedom, free one, the white. We have the flesh, and we have a prom promise. Genesis 16. Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar for made the Egyptian. Hagar is an Egyptian. That's African. After they dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife. Polygamy. Because blaming God in verse 2, well, Lord has restrained me from bearing. No, it wasn't time yet. Impatience. Sorry to say, I know what that sin is. He went on to Hagar, she conceived, and when she saw that she conceived, her mistress, Sarai, was despised in her eyes. Sarai said, Abraham, my wrong be upon thee. Sarai blames everybody. She blamed the Lord. She blamed Abraham. Chapter 21. God will get to the point for the children of Israel. Don't go back to Egypt, which they do. 21-21. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. His mother took him a wife, this is Ishmael, out of the land of Egypt. So, when he's cast out, Hagar gets a wife of Ishmael who is Syrian, Hebrew, African. And gets him an Egyptian African wife because she's Egyptian and African. So that Middle Eastern Arabian is really African. And he's not in the land where he should be, as we'll see in a little bit. 28.9. Notice I'm showing you all the, all the scripture. Then Ish, Ish, Esau. I was going to say Ishio. Esau. That is Jacob's brother. Who is angry with Jacob for the stolen blessing. Which he didn't steal. He sold it. And there's war between Esau the Ebonites. 
and Israel, Judah. And that goes throughout history. So here's another Middle Eastern war. A civil war between brother and brother. There's already a civil war between brother and brother. Isaac and Ishmael. Ishmael is enemies with Isaac. Esau, Edomites are enemies of Israel, Judah. And Esau went unto Ishmael and took unto him wives which he had, Methuselah, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son. So Ishmael has a daughter. An African, Egyptian, Syrian, Hebrew woman now marries a Syrian, Hebrew, Edomite. They're one big family and they hate Jacob and his son. That's why you got the Middle East conflict. It's a civil war. America makes a big deal about their son. No, no, no. By the way, American Civil War is centered about what? African slaves. With no mind to the slavery that Israel was in, in Egypt, in the book of Exodus. By the African Egyptians holding Israel as bondage when God called them out to go to the promised land. Now, I saw one of the magazines that checked out, I think it was Time Life or something like that, and Israel and Ishmael, the children of one father. That's an absolute wrong lie. Wait a minute, you just said, no, I did not say. Look at Genesis 16. I'm going to show you the scriptures. Genesis 16, 15. I showed this to a Baptist pa pastor. He's like, wow. Ready? You're going to hear what I'm going to say right now. You're going to hear an Ishmaelite, an Arabian, a Middle Eastern. What? Hagar bare Abram a son. And Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. There's Ishmael. Abram was fourscore, that's four times 20, that's 80 and six years when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. Abram, 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 Abram. Got it? Ishmael's dad is Abram. 21. 21.3. Abraham called the, the... What? Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. Now look what we read in chapter 16. Abram, 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 Abram. 21. When Isaac's born, who is the father? Abraham. Now, this one I didn't look up. You can see me cheat. Genesis 17. All right, we read 1615, Abram, 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 the birth of Ishmael. 21, we read Abraham, the birth of Isaac. 17:5. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. So Ishmael's father is Abram, not Abraham. Isaac's father is Abraham, not Abram. 
I showed that to a Baptist pastor, well named, and he's like, wow. I showed that to a Middle Eastern man, and he couldn't believe it. That time, whatever that magazine it was, Abraham, the father of two, no, he's not. Now, Abraham will go later, we're not going to talk about it, but Abraham will go later and marry a woman named Ketidra, or Ketura, however you want to call it. And he's going to have other children by Abraham, but for Isaac and Ishmael, Ishmael's father is Abram. I know they're the same man, but God Change his name. When God changed Simon's name to Peter, very rarely was Simon's name used again. So, Abram is the father of Ishmael. Abraham is the father of Isaac. By God, Genesis 17. So, Genesis 17, oh, here we are, 25. Ishmael was 90 years, uh, excuse me, Abraham was 90 years old and nine. When the foreskin of it, when, the, when he was circumcised to the flesh of his foreskin. Yeah, tongue cut. Ishmael, his son, was 13 years old when he was circumcised to the flesh of his foreskin. Now, God has settled for the Hebrews, the children of Abraham, the covenant, that they are to circumcise the male. The law says, this is before the law of the law of Moses. Verse 12. He that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every male child. All right. 1725, Ishmael is 13 years old. Okay, he's circumcised. He's put into the covenant of circumcision of Abraham and God. But he's not the proper age. Twenty one. Four. Abraham circumcised his son Isaac being eight days old. So Ishmael, the covenant was eight days old, circumcised the male children. Ishmael was thirteen years old, rebellion. Thirteen in the Bible is rebellion. Eight. days old. And I know science and medical today, oh, we don't do it the eighth day long, blah, 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 blah. They're just trying to defy the Bible. But the eighth day for a baby boy is the best proper time for that baby. That when you do that surgery, he ain't going to feel it. And it's a painful surgery. But Isaac is circumcised eight days old. Ishmael is unproper. Isaac was popular. Popper. Okay. So. 16. Well. The angel speaking to Hagar, 1612, he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of his brethren, who is his brethren? Jacob, the twelve tribes, Esau, Moab's related through Lot. Amon is related through Lot. That's why he's there. He's supposed to be in Egypt. Ishmael. The Arabian. But he's placed by God in the Middle East 
where everybody's angry with everybody, and he adds to the field, and his hands against every, including the United States, including Germany and Russia and everybody, because God said, Ishmael, that's how you're going to be. That's why we got the conflict in the Middle East. It's not Israel's fault. It's Ishmael's fault. Why is there war? Genesis 12, 16. Read it. Okay. John 7. John. John 7. 7. Remember, Esau is a type of the flesh. The world. The world cannot hate you, but it hated. But me, it hated. Ishmael hates. Ishmael will strap a bomb. Ishmael will grab a gun. What's going on in America today? He may not be an Arabian. But he's the flesh. He's not the spirit of God. He's grabbing a gun and he's shooting everybody. Because he's living after Esau, the flesh. He hates. He wants revenge. When God says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will re Have you ever had, as a Christian, don't you lie to me. Somebody, oh, I wish I could get even with them. I wish something will happen to them. I hope they get their just desserts. Whatever it is. Oh, if I could, I'd punch them. I'll trip them. Oh, if I... You ever had those those thoughts of evil, flesh, maybe hatred? That ain't the Holy Spirit. That ain't the children of the promise of Isaac. Isaac is after God. Ishmael is after the flesh. And even I, I'll admit it, maybe, maybe I'm a carnal Christian, I am. I get those thoughts of, of dominion and revenge at times. and That's the flesh rising in me. That's the Ishmael. I got a little Ishmael in me. And with the Haywards, I probably got Ishmael in me. A little private joke. We ought not to let Ishmael out. We ought to keep Ishmael under that bondage. Hey, Ishmael, stay in the ground. Let's let, let the spirit. I don't want the flesh to have the victory. Because when the flesh gets the victory, all oh, the world and all oh, everybody around is <laughs> turmoil. We want the Spirit. We want God. And Paul has already, we're not going to read it, but Paul said we are, you know, we got a spiritual battle. We've got the flesh versus the Spirit. And the Spirit versus the flesh. God hates that flesh. And you got the Spirit of Esau. God said, I hate Esau. I love Jacob. Jacob's of Isaac. When we take on the Ishmael, when we take on the Edomite in us, when we get that fleshly desire that like Lot's daughters, or we want to look back to the old sinful city like his wife, God hates that. And when we take on a hateful characteristic thinking or action of revenge, that's the world. That's your little Ishmael in you. Your little Edomite. 
15. 15, 18. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me, Jesus, before it hated you. Ishmael hates Isaac. And we're going to see that in a moment. Ishmael, Esau, Edom, Amen, hate Isaac, Jacob, and the twelve tribes, and the Messiah. You even get the family of Isaac and Jacob hate their own. That's the flesh. For envy they sold Jesus. That's Esau. Now I'm not saying they're Esau. That's the Esau spirit. Envy. Pride. Hating. First John. Three. Well, I can read my writing. 13. Marvel not, my brethren, Christian, if the world hates you. You got a Christian in your church and you're serving the Lord and doing right and they hate you. They're not Christians. They're the world. They're an Esau. Now, they're in the same family. We all come from Adam. We all came from Noah. Some are the children of the flesh, and some are children of the promise. Abraham, I, I don't know how many children he had with Keturah. There was a, quite a few. I'm going to say, I think, five or seven. Somewhere between there. So there were a lot of children of Abram and Abraham. One child was the one of the promise. Everybody else was born after the flesh. And when you get that one and only, people begin to hate. When Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, not Mary, not Allah, not the Pope, not Joseph Smith, not you and your goodness, People get angry and they get hated towards you. Go out in the street and preach the gospel. You'll be hated. You'll get people, well, professing Christians will hate you. You're not a professing Christian. Now, what about Isaac? Matthew. Written to Jews. Matthew 5.44. What about Ishmael hates? What about Isaac? 544. But I say unto you, Jesus say unto you, talking to the Jews, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. For ye are the children of your Father which is in heaven. That's written to Israel. It ain't written to the church. There is no church. So God, Jesus, says to Isaac, many, 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 many years, your enemies there, Esau and all them, love them. Edomites, love them. Ishmael, I hate you. Pull the bomb. Pull the trigger. Launch the missile. Get the tank. Get the air force. Get the militants. That's Ishmael. Terrorism is Ishmael. There are no Jewish terrorists. Because the Jews from Isaac have been told, love them. Now, you could defend yourself, yes. You see, when Israel defends itself, the media makes it look like, well, the Jews in persecution. No. 
the Jews in protection of the ones being persecuted are the Jews. They're only protecting themselves. See, the media hates Jesus. They hate God. So the media is on the side of Ishmael, Esau, and the Middle East against Isaac. Luke 6. Speaking to Isaac, Luke 6. 22. Blessed are ye, the children are Isaac, are blessed. Gad means blessed. When men shall hate you, Ishmael, when they shall separate you from their company, Esau, Ishmael, Lot, went their separate ways. And shall reproach you and cast your name as evil. That is today. Israel, Isaac, is a name of blasphemy. I have been told by a missionary in the Middle East that in their, their maps, the land of Israel is not marked. As Israel. Okay, Genesis 12. Genesis 12. Abraham's called out. He's Abram here. 12, 17. I don't think that's what I wanted. Twelve seven, And the Lord Jehovah God, not Allah, appeared unto Abram and said, Unto thy seed. Later on he's going to say that seed is Isaac. Unto Abraham. But unto thy seed will I give this land, Cana, and build it he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. Okay? 28. 28, 10. Unto Jacob, that's the son of Isaac. Verse 13. Behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am. That's, that's the name that he told Moses. I am. That's when Jesus said, I am. And they began to pick up stones to cast at him. The Lord God of Abraham, thy father. The God of Isaac, no Ishmael. The land where thou liest, Canaan. To thee will I give it, and to thy seed, the twelve sons. When it comes to that land of promise, I, uh, 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 Ishmael and Esau are left out. That's why there's conflict in the Middle East. Because one boy one man gets the promises of God and they don't. They got blessings of God from their father but they are not promised like God Jehovah the Lord promised Abraham, Isaac now Jacob and the boys. Luke 3. The genealogy of Mary, the mother of Jesus, never the mother of God. Luke 3, 34. Mary's line, look at this. We'll start at the end. Work our way up. Which is the son of Nacor, which is the son of Tara, which is the son of Abraham, 
which is the son of Isaac, which is the son of Jacob, the son of Judah. The Messiah, the Son of God, the Lamb of God, God Himself did not come through Isaac. Uh, excuse me. I keep on saying Isaac. I apologize, Lord. Did not come through Ishmael. He did not come through Esau. The promised seed, the promised Messiah, came through the promised seed of Isaac and Abraham, not Abram. That's why there's conflict in the Middle East. Allah is not God. Jehovah is God. The King James 1611 is the word of God, not the Quran. Surely not the American Standard Version. America produced the Jehovah Witnesses, the Charismatic Movement, Mary Baker Eddy, and the Morons. That's religion in America. Genesis 21. Genesis 21.9 And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian. You see, now she's Sarah. She had her cha name changed too. When Abraham's name was changed. Which was born unto Abraham, mocking. Ishmael, 21.9, hates Isaac, 21 9. And Isaac is at the age where he's off the breast and eating solid food. Verse 8. Verse 9, Ishmael is mocking Isaac. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out the bondwoman. Galatians 4, the servant, the slave, I don't care you don't like that word, and her son, Ishmael, for this son of the bondwoman, that was probably a curse back then, you son of a bondwoman, I'm sorry, shall not be heir with my son, even Isaac. Ishmael does not get the inheritance. Anything. And that's the wife speaking. What's God got to say about it? The thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. Abraham loved Ishmael. Don't get me wrong. God said unto Abraham, verse 12, let, not be, let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, Ishmael, because of thy bondwoman, Hagar. All that Sarah said unto thee, hearken unto her voice. Now Isaac just got off the breast. For, the, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. All the promises goes to Isaac, not Ishmael. Also the son of the bondwoman, Ishmael, who I make a nation. The Arabians. Because he's thy seed. Because he's your son. So all the conflict in the Middle East... Well, thank you very much, Abram, for sleeping with Hagar. There you go. All the sin in the world, all the hospitals, all the ambulances, all the crime in the world. Well, thank you, Adam.
Sarah said, or Sarai, here, honey, take Hagar. Eve said, here, take the fruit. And we've been paying for those sins ever since. Did I hear an amen? That is your answer now? Genesis 17. Seventeen, nineteen. Here's the scripture. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son, Sarah, not Sarai, and shall call his name Isaac, pre-named, Jesus was pre-named, John the Baptist was pre-named, Ishmael was pre-named, I'm trying to think. Not Samuel. Jacob and Esau, I don't think so. I will establish my covenant with him, Isaac. An everlasting covenant. With his seed after him. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, 12 tribes. As for Ishmael, the Arabians, the Middle East, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, happy, and will make him fruitful. He's going to have a lot of children. Will multiply him exceedingly, Middle East. Twelve princes shall he beget, not tribes. I will make him a great nation. But my covenant, God's covenant, will I establish with Isaac again. That's why the conflict in Middle East. Ishmael wants... Jehovah's covenant to Isaac, and he can't get it. So Ishmael made a god of himself, Allah, and Allah will bless Ishmael. But Allah's not God. Allah can't do nothing. And I can even be beheaded. For saying what I am about Allah, I'm not ashamed. I'm not afraid. Because of Jesus, if I'm absent from this body in my head, I'll be present with the Lord with my head. Ask John the Baptist. Revelation 21. Revelation. Revelation 21, we are in the eternal eternity. The great white throne judgment passed. All those that are in hell, all those that are wicked, all those that are in their sins have been cast into the lake of fire with Satan, the Antichrist, and the false prophet. We are in heavenly paradise. Okay? God's all finished with Israel, they said. Many say, replacement theology. Over there in Thessalonians, God is finished with Israel to the uttermost. Oh yeah? In the eternal life, where there's no more time. Revelation 21, 21. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. That is some pearl. This is New Jerusalem. Every several gate was one pearl. The street of the city was pure gold. The street, not street. As it were, transparent glass. Okay, that's New Jerusalem. Look at verse 12. Had a wall great and high. Twelve gates. And at the gates, twelve angels. Remember he said twelve princes are Ishmael. The names written thereon on the gates, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Israel is Jacob, Isaac, and Abraham, not Ishmael. That's why Ishmael, that's why the Arabians are all mad. That's why everything's all up in arms. 
Because God has one people. God has one land, and it ain't America. And everybody wants that one people's blessing. And everybody wants in one people land. And them people are the people of Abraham, Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the twelve tribes. It is not Abram, Ishmael. It's not even Abraham, Isaac, Esau. And it's surely not Lot and Moab and Ammon. The children of God, the bride of God. Talk about the bride. The bride of Jesus is the church, Christian. The bride of Jehovah God. If you will bless them, I will bless you. If you curse them, I will curse you. The bride is the children of Israel, the Jews, the Hebrews, the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They are the nation above all nations, not American and not America. 